I'm busy with this morning. I started uh, um, working on my next ebook, um, Growth Kit um, for Entrepreneurs, actually a business growth kit for entrepreneurs. And this time it would be a financial edition. It's actually very close to my heart, seeing that I'm an accountant as well for the last uh, two decades, serving small business owners. So I, it's something that really, something I always wanted to do is an ebook uh, for for entrepreneurs specifically on financial management and just uh, like a financial edition on the ebooks. So this morning I wrote a few things and one of the I one of the things I actually wrote down was the the one of the biggest reasons why entrepreneurs struggle is bad debt management and more more specifically debtors debtors or accounts receivable uh, management. Hi, Yas Basson here. I just wanted to remind you about the Daily Entrepreneur Tips series. It's a business growth series for entrepreneurs and contains financial information and also information to grow you as a person and your business because we will never grow our business any higher than we grow ourselves. So click on the link below and I will send you daily information to grow you as a person and your business and it's for 365 days of the year. Hello everyone, good afternoon. It's very cold in Cape Town. Uh, it seems like the rain is coming as well. I'm very glad. I always I don't mind the cold and I don't mind the bad weather, but I <laughs> really lo love it when it rains as well. When it, it feels worth it to me. I really love the summer, so it's for me for the winter to be worth it. It might need to rain need to rain a lot. So I'm busy with this morning. I started uh, um, working on my next ebook. Um, growth kit um, for entrepreneurs, actually a business growth kit for entrepreneurs and this time it would be a financial edition. It's actually very close to my heart seeing that I'm an accountant as well for the last uh, two decades serving small business owners. So I, it's something that really, something I always wanted to do is an ebook uh, for, for entrepreneurs specifically on financial management and just uh, like a financial edition on the ebooks. So this morning I wrote a few things and one of the I one of the things I actually wrote down was the the one of the biggest reasons why entrepreneurs struggle is bad debt management and more more specifically debtors debtors or accounts receivable uh, management. Um, some of the conversation I have in my practice, most of the clients seem to struggle with that. Getting, getting funds in from from um, from clients, um, most of them usually when they after they've been working um, with a client, um, t delivering the service or the goods, and then they struggle to get the funds. So I always tell the story of of a decorative um, or decorative sorry cement flooring company um, that been working at our home at some stage, and a number of the rooms actually been been worked on and they were very strict about the pro protocols before they even start anything on the floor they want 50% to be paid into their bank account um, and then they would kind of structure it to, towards a, 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 another 40% payment closer to the end and before that before they do that last layer that's actually the most important layer on that cement um, floor um, it's like a kind of a sealer kind of uh, I, I don't know what you call it but it was basically a sealer that's the last layer on that on that floor and if they don't do that um, then your floor is, floor is pretty much useless you can't use that floor so and what they do is that last 10 percent um, that you need to pay need to be paid that day before they actually come to your to your home to do that last last layer of on the floor, that lower sealant. So, and, it's, and I always tell that story because people can very easily criticize because I'm an accountant, so I'm working with, obviously with, with fees, but I'm also an entrepreneur with, with various other, in various other industries. So, but I always try to, to use that story as an illustration that doesn't matter in what industry you are, 
you can build in a structure where you, it's, there's very strict, strict protocols that you use um, to, to manage your data. I mean, I mean, essentially, if, if you, I mean, my father-in-law, uh, many years ago, he actually told me this story of, no, not story, but the fact is, um, if you work for a client um, and they don't pay you, you can rather sit uh, and drink coffee with your wife, with your wife at home um, and play with your kids. Um, and that really st stuck with me all this time um, since I started my own practice in 2006. It's been 15 years, um, actually in July. Um, so we've got a very strict protocol in our practice. Um, with our monthly accounting clients, obviously they're a retainer, so it's an automatic invoice going out. But we're very strict on a, a current basis, current, current terms basis to, to get the fees in. Um, obviously other clients coming from the outside, we've got a, quite a big online presence. Um, and various websites where we generate leads from and those clients uh, we ask the 100% fee up front um, and I get that people might not feel they can trust you doing that but that's the way we work and I never never do it, do it any other way um, so I would ra rather only service five out of ten clients that actually we send the quotation to, but if you don't pay that hundred percent, I won't I won't move, and um, and that's that's our way of of protecting our cash. Um, but yeah, like like the story as well. I mean, if you just just came on, I heard I made in Paul. Tell us what what you're doing in Paul. I would love to to know that. Um, just kind of revisit this this video and and watch the story from the start but it's it's there's a lot of kind of a lot of different ways to kind of structure your debt your accounts receivable um to manage that um to make sure that that you get paid and when your job is done when you actually get paid so i think f for action today action list the action plan to implement today is first of all i want to know can you give me your accounts receivable today on a live live basis? Can you tell me exactly who owe you what today on the spot? Um, generally, you need an accounting system for that. So if you can't, can't do that today, and, and, and we would be surprised. A lot of people can't, can't tell me on the spot what's my outstanding um, accounts, what's my outstanding accounts receivables um, that need to come in. Um, and that's a very important aspect of your business. So if you don't know that, if you don't have that answer, you're not the only one, but do take action today and speak to your accountant. To, there's so many amazing online um, systems these days. You can have Sage Online, QuickBooks, um, Zero. Everything is cloud-based. You can access it from your phone. So there's no excuse not to do that. So speak to your accountant and, and let them help you implement the system when they can work together with you to, to make sure you manage your, your debtors perfectly. So that was just a quick insight. Um, busy with my, like I mentioned, busy with my ebook, um, growth, Ki growth Kit for Entrepreneurs. And this one is specifically on, on financial education, financial management. Um, it's a financial edition this, this time, vol volume seven. So look out for that, um, but in the meantime, take that action and uh, I'll see you in the next Instagram live. live. Cheers for now. Bye.